Colt trying to keep it alive. Simon's gonna touch it backwards. Nirenberg now. Aravicini, ball off the left shoulder of Graham, cleared out. Now Paravicini, Nirenberg again. Cross to Bylon. It's a nice job to get around McDonald, but another defender waiting was Onger. Paravicini with a nice touch. Gets around the defender, nice through ball to Graham. Graham one touch, left foot is good! Garavicini. Garavicini. It's Bylon in stride. Loses Salaj. Paravicini chips one up for Graham. He tried one timing it and missed. And then in the center of the field is the one who will start the clock. And he does so. Dartmouth looking to add to this 1 0 lead. Teams reverse fields, obviously. So Dartmouth now from right to left on your screen and BU from left to right for the second half. Call. Awkward looking left foot. Comes back up to cut this one off. Over the top looking for Kunate. Kunate gets there, keeps it in play, fires it back over the top. Graham, header, and it hits. Cross just behind Graham, and it's played off of Solange's foot. Dartmouth still possessing now in their own defensive half of the field. Salvetti. Kunate gets around Barkov. And then a lob shot. Get making his collegiate debut here. So suddenly it's a one goal game with 11 and a half minutes remaining here at Burnham Field. After a precarious goal trickles in. Graham for Paravicini here. Now out to Kunate, looking for Graham out in front again and coming over. 1996 Olympics, had a disagreement with the coach and opted to use his dual citizenship and represented Antigua. Here's a chance for Shivali. Rolled it just a few inches wide, but again, Freeze had the angle covered. Well, he was very confident that that was not even going to be close. Where BU had a lead that they needed to protect. They were unable to do so after a 2-0 advantage over BC was not enough. Headed straight up in the air. Good defensive move by the Terriers there. Like Abinaw got onto the end of that one threw T.J. Butsky aside like a rag doll. No call there, that was just a bigger, stronger player clearing some space. Now Bernardi pressed into action. There was only one Crimson player in front and plenty of red jerseys to keep him out of the way. So usually you would think this would be an off season and they haven't gotten those opportunities to really work through some fundamentals. Jermstad gets the ball right at the top of the six yard box and Bernardi closed the wickets again. He pumps his fist and says, let's go. Not a great job by Jermstad, just had that ball to try to get someone else who will look to go forward to get in here because time's starting to become an issue. Devine trying to match some of that production he had 
during his true freshman campaign in 2014. Along it comes, falls right to the foot of Dogan. He can't settle it. Now lays it off for Devine. Crossed in front. Tic-tac-toe. It's a repeater already with an assist. Pushed ahead. Hausen, another one of those call-ons to the field. Just hooked wide by... Americans working at a hotel there moved to the United States at a young age and when he did not get an opportunity to play U.S. national team soccer he went into high kneel canoeing tried out for the U.S. canoe team heading into the 1996 Olympics had a disagreement with the coach and opted to use his dual citizenship and represented Antigua here's a chance for sure he's got Deanna breaking toward goal right down the center of the park Help is coming, but a nice dispossession by Lindner Leo. Yeah, good job. Who was unable to recover in time after his run forward. Dogan now, what can he do? 20 seconds to go before the break. Crimson have got to get this ball forward. Down to the final 10 seconds. They'll count it down. No stoppage time. Jernstad. Five, Along the end line. Four, can he get one in front? Three, no, he cannot. Two, Interrupted one. on this year. Who will get to two? Gary Peterson trying to apply a little extra pressure to get back to his feet towards the Harvard bench. So that's obviously a tough sign. They have substituted Nate Devine in favor of Matt Glass. So it is 11 v 11 here. Time ticking down at Jordan Field. Both teams just one win this year. Who will get to two? Gary Peterson trying to apply a little extra pressure. During his first year in the program, just one point since. Now make it two. Dermstadt again getting forward. Now do the Crimson have a go-ahead and game-winning goal in them? Aim toward the back post. Baloney Urso was the target. 
Crimson hold on to the ball. Ten minutes and change remaining. Complete momentum shift here. Crimson looked like the livelier squad. I'm Kevin Gale joined by Ben Ulcher bringing you the action here from Jordan Field on the campus of Harvard University. Both teams hungry for a win before conference play begins. Yermstad, he's been a danger man. Topside 